guys, welcome back to Phone Bus with Simple Economy where we are in Cologne and if you remember I already set up the Cologne to Frankfurt Airport route to take us back so we'll click on that we're in the depot because we did the overnight rest to avoid running into problems with the tachograph so we'll start the game now I just need to check how far I went with the spreadsheet yeah we set the route up didn't we set the route up, set up the definitions got it all ready into results so we're all ready to go actually so that's good assume it's all pulled through in there yeah looks like it okay I think we're all ready so we're in Cologne depot or well, at least I think we are I'm going to make absolutely sure by checking the map in a minute but that's where we should be Yep, we're at the depot in Cologne, we've got to go down to the bus stop, pick up our passengers and go back to the airport, that's fine. Okay, that's what I expected, so Frankfurt Airport's a destination. We turn on the air conditioning, so my controller doesn't want to work. Sometimes if your controller doesn't work, if you go into settings, controls, and just click reset devices a few times, that should do it. Let's log into the smartphone while we're here anyway. Okay, let's see if that's reset the control. Yeah, it's done it, you see. So if your controller stops working, you just reset and it picks it back up again and everything's fine. Don't know why it does that, but it does. Um, Choice Bus Simulator does it as well, actually. Okay, so we should be ready to go down and pick up our passengers, I think. Let's see if we can do that. My first problem is going to be getting across this road, I suspect. Because it looks like there's a fair bit of traffic around Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. I think there's a traffic light on red which is holding it up. But there's quite a lot queuing. So this could take a while. Talk amongst yourselves for a while. This could be a little while. I assume there's a traffic light up there on red. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get out. pushing my way out as far as I can, hoping that when the light changes again, somebody will let me out. Right, it's starting to move. Let's let him go. Let's just try and move forward. And I was hoping that one of these might take the hint and let me out. Come on guys, why don't you let me out? Let's try indicating, that might help as well. No, not letting me out, are they? Now he stopped, which is great. Because I can't do anything, because this guy in front of me is in the way. So I think that guy over there is stopping to let me go. But this guy isn't. And until those lights change again, nothing much is going to happen. I'm hoping that when the lights change again he'll move and the next one won't because he'll realise that the guy opposite is trying to let me out let's hope that's the case no, he's going to move anyway wonderful, let's try moving forward a little bit further I'm trying to persuade somebody to let me out they don't want to, do they? Come on, Mr. Lorry Driver, will you let me out? No. You're not going to let me out either. Policeman, will you let me out? Fantastic. Well, got no choice. We'll have to hit backspace because otherwise they're never going to let us out. And that has put us back going into the depot. 
This wasn't very helpful, was it? Hmm, okay. Well, we're going to have to turn around and go back out again. The problem is that may not have resolved the traffic issue. That may have done absolutely nothing for us. Getting across that road is going to be our problem. doesn't look like it's any better, I've got to say. This could be an issue. If Fern Bus doesn't want to let us out of the depot, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do. guys to take the hint and let me across. Really can't go forward much further than that. Well, I need you to move forward mate. Right, he's theoretically letting me go. Don't move now, mate, that's all I ask. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, well, you did stop in the worst possible spot, and now I'm completely screwed. <sighs> what an idiot. If you're going to stop to let somebody out, do it far enough back so they can actually get out. Oh well. What can we do? Otherwise we were never ever going to get out of there, I don't think. We had to do something, so... So be it. I was hoping I'd get round him without bumping into him, but that was never going to happen, I don't think. Okay, never mind. We'll try and get on with the route eventually. Cologne Depot is a nightmare. I try to remember not to end up there again because it's a nightmare to get out of. We're going to have to do a number of routes out of Cologne as well, so I'm going to have to remember to try and avoid ending up in Cologne Depot. But it may not be possible to avoid it completely. We'll see. It's not going to be a problem for a while, because we've got plenty of other things to do first anyway. We had no passengers on board at the time we clipped that car, so it's not going to matter that much. I sort of just like to think the AI is going to resolve the issue, and sometimes it just never does. And hitting backspace and sticking your facing back into the depot was completely unhelpful. I think we'd have been going backwards and forwards there forever and a day. Darned annoying, but never mind. Let's get on with it now if we can. Preferably without any more problems. Come on, mate, round you go. I've got this other guy behind me now, but if he goes by, I can get in that lane behind him. I weren't going to risk pulling in front of him because he would probably have gone straight into me. I just don't trust him at all.
Yeah, I don't like Cologne Depot, I've decided. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid that like the plague. Oh, I'm not supposed to be going right at this one, I've just realised. I'm supposed to be going straight on. I was trying to turn right too early. It's right at the next one where that guy just went. Clone Cathedral in the distance now. Clone is a bit of a nightmare all round actually. Sighting a depot here was possibly a mistake. A hub here rather. It's possibly a mistake because you have to go right into the centre and round the cathedral just to get to the bus stop. I could have picked somewhere better, like Frankfurt or even Bonn. Both might have been better than Cologne, but there you go, we did it. We've got to live with it now. I don't want to go back and try and reset it. No, I could. It still leaves the route, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. In fact, I might do. I might do a route. Once we set the airport routes up, I might do a route that goes out of Urfa and goes to somewhere like Bonn and use that as a hub instead of Cologne, because Cologne's a bit of a nightmare. I'm not sure that Bonn's much better. I've not tried it, so I don't know. And Frankfurt, I'm not terribly familiar with where the depot is either. The problem with the Cologne depot is it comes right out onto that main road and the AI just won't let you out. I mean, when they're stuck in the traffic jam, because they're not going to go anywhere because the traffic light is on red in front of them, so one of them could stop a bit further back and leave a gap for you to get out. It's not going to do them any harm. They're not going anywhere. But the AI doesn't think like that. Unfortunately. why when people talk about AI, which is supposed to stand for artificial intelligence, they say, what intelligence? And sometimes it does make you feel that way. And all of us on the road, sometimes when you're in a traffic jam, you'll stop back and leave a gap for somebody to get out or something. I mean, imagine it's a hospital entrance, you've got to leave a gap so an ambulance can get out if they need to. So, I mean, you know, there are circumstances where you've got to do it. There is a circumstance where they should do it, but the AI doesn't like doing those things, clearly. Right, straight on here, I think. Hopefully before this light changes. Yep. That at least was quite handy. And this one's green. Something of a major result. I'm still not sure that Cologne's not where I took that wrong turn that time, trying to get to the bus stop. I think it might have been. At least there's nothing in the way there, that's fine. Horns are blasting well. AI is having problems with itself. It doesn't make much sense, but clearly it is. Here we're downtown now. Downtown Cologne. So we ended up at the depot because we did a break overnight to avoid a problem where the tachograph says we've been driving for 24 hours or something. I'm not sure it would because you take the rest stops and I'm not sure that firm bus is clever enough to realise how long you've been driving in total and for that to be a problem with the police stops but it might and because I don't know and didn't want to risk it I thought right we'll do it as if it's an overnight break 
Which makes sense, because that's what drivers do. I mean, they have to sleep. And don't forget my timetables generally end at about 10 o'clock at night. So logically, that would have been the last service of the day. So all of that fits with what I was trying to achieve. It just didn't go terribly well. But hey. Not to worry. So this looks like a sort of downtown shopping office type area, I guess. And the bus station is sort of just to our right, but we've got to go around the block to get into it. Obviously you can't get it into it by turning right here, because it looks like that road just takes us straight back where we just came. So you have to go down and round. It's a bit convoluted in Cologne. Glad I didn't start my career in Cologne. I mean, that would be the last thing you want. late setting off on this one, amazingly, which is pretty unusual, but we've not been able to get to the stop from the depot. We'll have to try and get the time back on route, there's no rest stop to worry about, so... No intermediate stops, just straight to the airport, so with a bit of luck, we'll be able to get some time back somewhere. We're certainly going to need to, because we've got the check-in to do, yeah. It's 10.01 now, we normally leave at 10.02. Well, if anything, we're going to be arriving at the stop at 10.02. You know, which one was it, that one? many passengers want to go to the airport, but it is Saturday. Okay, did I log in? Yes, I did log in. Okay. So now let's see what we got. Okay, let's start here. Essen? No, we're not going Essen. Don't even know where Essen is, mate. Let alone go there. Frankfurt Airport, that sounds good. That's one. Flight departures, yeah, I'll take you there. That's two. Yep. That's three. Frankfurt Airport, Marissa. That's four. Uh, oh, there's two people who want to buy tickets. Hope they're going to the airport. She is. Right, that's five. This lady here should be six. And this chap in the middle, I think. Yep. Looks like he's seven. Okay, do you want to go to the airport, madam? You do. Excellent. I'm ticket back, Alfen. You can indeed buy one. And you, madam, do you want to go to the airport? You do. Lovely. Very good news. There you go. On you go. Okay, lock the back door. Shut the luggage door. Sorry, mate. Not going your way. Okay. Escape. So, after our little disaster, we've got seven people who had tickets and two that bought them. 
played a bit higher rate. I shall get us a profit of all the 25 euros. But it's a profit. Can't complain really. Shouldn't think we need to skip forward. No, we don't, because we're actually two minutes late. But we've got till half 12 to get there, so we should be fine. Let's go. Let's get out of Cologne if we can. That's going to be the first requirement here. Lots of horns blasting always makes me think they're going to be crashing into me any second. I'm wondering what on earth they're all blasting their horn about, but I think they just like blasting their horns, to be honest. Is there a traffic light here? Yes, there is. That may not be a bad thing. At least it's not just to give way where you can't get out. At least with a traffic light, you do know you will get a turn. It's just if they block the entire road because they get stopped at another traffic light that's too close, that's when you run into issues there. That's why I was saying in another video, don't put two sets of traffic lights too close to each other, especially if you play city skylines, because it can cause chaos. To the extent that your traffic simply stops moving and the whole thing is just clogged. And unless you've built in some redundancies along the way to be able to redesign, you're in a bit of a mess. Probably one of the worst things about city skylines is your junctions. I'm going a little bit quick. I don't want to be going quite that fast. We're still in the 50, we've not got out of city limits as such. Bonnie's straight on. So that must be where we came in and turned right to go over there and go to the bus station. So you sort of go round a big long loop, it seems. It's like a one-way system, but not quite a one-way system, because it's not one way, but... That's what you have to do, it seems, in order to get in and get out. There's the cathedral. It's like you're doing a big circle around the cathedral, because you never get very far away from the cathedral. And you're always turning right, it seems. So it seems like you're doing one enormous big circle around the centre of Cologne in order to get to a road that actually goes out of the city. How long have we got? Just a little bit over two hours. That should be alright. If we can get out of the city, we should be okay. Come on AI, don't get clogged. I mean, I have seen Firm Bus when it got complete gridlock. I mean, it literally was... The I can't remember which town it was in, but the whole city centre was just gridlocked. Just massive traffic jam and nothing was moving in any direction and that it wasn't going to resolve that in a long time. It got itself in a right pickle. Problem was the usual thing, is that well, I don't know what they call it in other countries, but in the UK we have a thing called the Highway Code, which says don't enter your junction unless your mm, exit is clear. Cheers, mate. You just ignore the fact that I was indicating left and fly straight past me. Um, yeah, don't enter your junction unless your exit is clear, particularly at a roundabout, because if you do it at a roundabout, what ends up happening is a queue of traffic is round the roundabout and then nothing can move anywhere because the whole roundabout is blocked 
and that's because people go into the roundabout when their exit isn't clear for them to get off the roundabout if you see what I mean that's what the highway code says but a lot of people on the roads haven't read their highway code in a very long time mainly because the only reason you read the highway code is in order to get through your driving test and get a license after that what's that highway code what's that about then so that's how you end up with clogged junctions when people pull into junctions when they can't go anywhere and then they end up just blocking everything and it happens in firm bus and it happens in real life I did something called Institute of Advanced Motorists which is sort of like the next stage oh come on mate don't be daft after you your normal driving test you can if you want do a thing called the Institute of Advanced Motorists and um, you learn advanced ways to drive and they certainly frown on pulling into junctions when they're not clear. They'd also tell you not to indicate if there's nobody around to benefit from it. So if there's absolutely no traffic anywhere here or behind me, there'd be no point in me indicating, is what they'd say. Why are you indicating? Who are you indicating it to? There's nobody around to see it. And that is true, because the only point of an indicator is to indicate to other motorists what your intention is. If there's no other motorists there, well, who are you indicating it to? So there's a few things like that, but... Most people on the roads don't indicate when they need to. Well, they leave it till the very last second, and then indicate because they suddenly realise at the junction they want sometimes that could be because they're in a strange town or something and don't know where the junction that they want is and then suddenly think oh my god we need to go down there and indicate the very last second and they forget the basic tenant of driving which is mirror signal maneuver look in your mirror then you signal then you make the maneuver most of them forget the look in the mirror bit don't worry about whether there's anything, you know, right up your rear, so to speak. Just slam your brakes on, put your indicators on, and get ready to make your turn. And when you put your brakes on, you haven't even indicated yet, so the poor person behind you has no idea what you're doing. Whereas if you'd looked in your mirror, saw they're there, signalled, they'd know that you're going to have to slow down in order to turn the corner and would therefore be prepared for you to break. That's the theory. It's amazing the number of people on the roads who seem incapable of using mirrors. But there you go. Anyway, enough moaning about motorists. Let's try and get where we're supposed to be going in an hour and three quarters not looking quite so lively now because it's taking us a while to get out of Cologne but we'll try and do what we can we've done very well for being on time on nearly every route so far so if we did get one or two that were late it would not be the end of the world I, mean, I reckon if you're achieving 90% you're doing pretty well and we're at about 95 at the moment problem with being at 95 but I just don't really expect it to stay at that. Okay, Frankfurt Airport in this lane it says. You can see the little picture of the airplane next to Frankfurt. But down here
try and make as good a time as we can because being on time is not guaranteed but obviously we'll try no rest stop to worry about unless there's a police stop that could of course get in our way Interesting to know if anybody else out there who's played firm bus a lot, do you have you ever had a problem where you failed anything on the police check? Can you fail the tachograph check because you've been driving for too long? Dunno. Anybody knows if it's happened to them, let me know. But I've never heard of it, I've got to say. If the police check is always going to be just tick, 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 then I don't see the point of doing it. It's actually possible to fail it. Don't know if on the debrief there's anything about tachograph hours. Can't remember. Tachograph hours, driving hours. There's something about whether you rested or not. But that's only a 15 minute rest. Well, you can't drive 24 hours, and even if you stopped for 15 minutes on each of six four hour routes, you'd have had an hour and a half off in 24 hours. I mean, you'd be falling asleep. So you can't do that. So. How many hours are you allowed to drive in a day on a tachograph? Is it eight? Maybe. Possibly if you take breaks you might be allowed to do a bit more than that. But certainly not 23 hours in 24 or something stupid. But I don't know if it's possible to fail on the police check for anything because it's never happened to me. Either that means I've just been very good, or the police check is a bit pointless. But we haven't got a police check at the moment, so let's not worry about it too much. So what have we got? We've got an hour and a quarter to do 130 kilometres. It's touch and go close one way or the other but the airport's not a bad entry because it's straight off the main road just up that um, what's the word bend road that curves up onto the top level of the airport so it's not the worst one to get into by any means it's not like you've got to drive in the center of a city because it's not in the city, so it should be all right if we can just get there with a bit of a chance of doing it. I think we have got a chance. We'll try to make sure we don't have any more altercations with the AI. Well, the only one we had was before we even picked up the passengers, so it's hardly the end of the world. They might know it's to dent in my bus, but... Well, they wouldn't, because you don't see dents in firm bus, but... You know what I mean. Might be a bit put off getting on if you turned up and there's loads of dents in your bus. You might say, my god, I'm not getting on that bus. Look at that driver by the look of it.
think we've got, we've got a chance of doing this, you know. We've got 100 kilometres to go. We're coming up past that WIP bit again. Don't know what that's about. What WIP means, I've got no idea. Stopping in the middle lane. Roadworks? Is that roadworks in front of us? Yes, I think it is. So there's a bit of lane changing going on, which is causing an issue. Because people are going up the left hand lane, which is ending, so they're having to pull in, aren't they? Now, I think these roadworks, it was 80 through here, wasn't it? as opposed to the 60 I expected it would be. So I might as well try and stay at 80 if I can. Ooh. If I can. guess somebody changed lanes again and caused everybody to hit their brakes. Rather large factory or something to our right there. Eh? Some big chimneys or something. Changing lanes without indicating. In America, you can get a ticket for an unsafe lane change for that. Don't do that in the UK. Should do, but don't. Probably un unenforceable, to be honest, on our roads, but... I know in the US you can get a ticket for an unsafe lane change, and if you don't indicate before a certain distance from the turning you take, like if you leave it to within, say, 100 metres of the turn before you indicate, then that's too late and that's an unsafe lane change. Something like that, anyway. Problem in the UK is I think it would be unenforceable because you'd never have enough police on the road to be able to enforce that because everybody makes unsafe lane changes. an hour to do 44 now so we actually we can do this because it's main road all the way to the airport we can probably do this really don't need a police check though because the police check would probably almost certainly mean we'd be late. They don't take long but could be enough. 34 kilometres now. Keep our eyes open for the exit. Frankfurt Airport is straight on. get out of lane 
thing just to make absolutely sure that I'm not going to run into problems with the AI. Uh, he pull off? Yeah, he's going off. Okay, I'll go back in then. I'm pretty sure we must be going off pretty soon. We're only 20 kilometres away now. So surely has to be a turn into Frankfurt Airport pretty soon. And this is probably the better direction to come at it from because I think this side, the airport, was before Frankfurt. So we don't even have to go around Frankfurt, where the traffic's heavier. That's me looking on the bright side. Okay, is this airport off to the right? Looks like it might be. Yep, it is Frankfurt Airport. See, I think indicating that far back would be too early. But I think when you see the next sign for it, that's about the time to start indicating, I would say. So I would say round about here. So we're coming in from a different direction. We've got to negotiate a different way in, haven't we? I'd forgotten about that. Actually, it's alright, because that's where we come up when we come out of arrivals. We come up that bit. Okay, so this is departures here. So we're back at the airport again. Top level. Too early? Uh, I think we're about a minute early. So you can call that too early. I'm actually surprised we were early at all, madam. Right. No result. Bye bye, people. Bye. Okay, so how's our fuel looking? Your fuel's on three quarters. That's alright. Okay, so we can go to the spreadsheet and say that we were on time. It was touch and go at times, but we got there. Okay, so in firm bus I can log out. I'm not going to get fuel here, that's a sure fact. So next time, I'll see you again, and we will go from the airport to Hanover, and then do Hanover back to the airport. So that will be our next couple of routes. So I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye now.